Hello, welcome again to my channel. So this tutorial, I will show you how I edit this image. We created this image in the studio. Uh, we tried to create a kind of neon background for the image. We shot the image and absolute darkness in a very slow um, shot speed while we um, move um, that light around in the pattern and the background. Probably in my next video, I will be showing you how to make this allow me to make this image. But in this tutorial, I am only going to show you how I edit the image from start to finish. This um, stay back and then enjoy as you watch. Why do that? Please kindly subscribe to this channel so that when the subsequent videos will be able to get notification. So let's start. Here. Uh, going to drop the image into um, ratio 4 by 5 because I'm totally going to post it uh, online. And, uh, it's somehow if you are in the balance when you post 4 by 5 online, especially on uh, Instagram, it's more officially uh, pleasing than even if it's around 4 by 6 ratio or so. In this case, I am actually going to use uh, the black on my side. And after that, I created the uh, white border around the image. I am making the image and I am transforming it. I am the size as we see. So, to create uh, that white uh, uh, border around the image. Which after that we will now move to the uh, image editing proper. And as you've seen in my previous videos, I use um, the token academy. And um, for my frequency separation, I always use custom. That's why I use most of it for my frequency separation. And the reason why I did that is because it gives me the um, extra layer to work on. This gives me the opportunity to the flexibility to cause a mistake if I thought I made a mistake. I usually delete the color layer while I, um, I place it back to another black layer and then continue with other and uh, editing. So that's the reason why I actually like using that custom layer. I mean, thought that you can find on academy, touch on academy. Just follow the um, the, uh, the keyboard uh, strokes that is being displayed on the, on the screen. Every of the um, keyboard strokes is recorded on the keyboard so that you can easily see what buttons are pressing on the, on the uh, keyboard and you can easily replicate those uh, keys as well. Right now I'm scrubbing the, the colors um, and when you're doing this one thing is very very important and that is making sure that you're brushing shadows and not brushing them into highlights and then not meeting the highlights with the, uh, the shadows. So those three things make the mid tone, the highlights and the, um, the shadows everything has to stay where they are. The only thing you are trying to do while you are scrubbing is just to blend the colors. That's the only thing you are doing. You are not trying to move the color from one side to the other. So wherever the color is, just let it stay there. So the only thing you are trying to do is just make that the color looks smooth. So that's the event of the scrubbing the area that you are You only want to bring the color so that the colors can Look smooth. That actually works. I'm doing it presently. You 
then take a bit of time. Sometimes you have to take your time and then do it as perfectly as you can. You don't have to rush. So take your time and uh, look at it, correct the two little things you are able to correct and then look at it. Once it's pleasing to you, then you can move on to the texture layer. Here in the texture layer now, uh, you will be removing the spots on the, on the face and you will just move your uh, brush, you change the brush to close down. So then you want to press other area to sample area where you want to use to um, clean the spots so over and over you click an area that is very close to the spot that you want to you want to uh, remove so that you are not taking uh, like a pixel that is far from the area that you want to clean so you click the you select the pixel that is closest to the area that we want to remove. Okay, we have the correct something in the corner here. And I'm going back and forth. You can see I made the texture layer in PC before I was working on the, the, the color layer. The reason why you do that is because if you look at the two panels again, you can see that you click on sample all layers. While I was working with the head. So if you are working with sample all layers, then if you sample the test for layer of it, that's the reason why I have to make that uh, test for layer in this while I was working with the, uh, 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 the color layers. So presently now I'm working on the text uh, layer and just removing the I hope you are enjoying this tutorial. Please kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can have um, easy access to subsequent videos that we be dropping. I'm actually going to be dropping at least one video a week so that you can help each other grow. Please don't forget to, to subscribe. Kindly subscribe and then like and share this video. It's very important. Your comment as well is very very important. You can drop the comments and if you have any questions, you can drop them as well. I will be very glad to respond to them later. So just take your time, take your time, remove all spots as much as possible. So why doing that? Try to maintain originality. Try to maintain originality. Don't let the feature become uh, plastic in nature. Let it look good. Cool. Let it look normal, like a normal human skin. Don't let it plastic. Uh, this image will be really adding no effect to her at all. So we shot it on her bare face. That is what I'm trying to maintain. See, there are some eyelashes that are coming out of my own Not even in the dress. It's just purely a natural face. Obvious. 
that you did to YouTube and YouTube, everything that you try to do while you are doing um, the jambo is not something that will be so obvious. You only want to touch some video uh, just to make sure that um, you collect some probably some light errors and uh, the highlights and shadows. That's the thing you're trying, trying to do. So it's not something that will use very quick brush and um, a very bright um, brush. And that's the reason why you reduce the flow. Same thing with the third as well. Use the brush flow and then use the brush of the first. Just put the same thing to the third I usually use uh, the two tools from this panel to do my color building. I use selective color tool and cut my color. So currently I'm going to use selective color tool to do my color building. There's no rule to doing this. You just need to find balance in, in the colors and then uh, to, to, to give you what you think you need so you just have to adjust the sliders little by little until you achieve the desired color that you want to achieve so you should be able to practice or try it over and over to see which color affects your shadow and which color affects your highlight and which one affects your middle so that's what you try to do every time you do that See the difference. And now I'm going to click on the call. This is where I need to the look. I really want to do this kind of bluish look. I want to have some blue. That's why I want to do channel. I want to improve the blue level. Beat. It depends on what you're trying to achieve, what you want, how you want it to look, depends on which channel you're working on. So there's nothing that there is no room as to what number or how much you want to uh, move your sliders. So it is what you're trying to do. Once you do the slider and produce the, the interview with the color that you, you want, you want to Because it's 
so that I can easily and post the site and you know, I can pick whatever point I like to change for it. This is a monochrome mode, so I have to use two colors while I'm printing it on any of my images. I'm sorry, I have to change my uh, budget opacity and uh, the flow back to 100 percent. Sometimes editing doesn't mean that you do a lot on the image. No. Once we are just able to do some little little things just to perfect the picture. One thing you always be concerned, you always concern yourself with is making sure that your picture is as perfect as you want it to be right from shooting the image. Thank you for watching. Please, only subscribe to this channel. See you next time.